helpful just so that people have a sense of uh, this is good. Uh, I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed uh, not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses uh, at Emory. So the president got himself in some doggy doo doo now. He was hugging and kissing. Well, at least those nurses in that one town. I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed. Uh, not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses. Oh my God, I don't know what to tell you, Mr. President. But man, your ass might be the second person and third to begin quarantine, dog. That was the actual day that they probably came out and that they were spread, were infected. So we know the president was there on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I don't really know. I'm just kind of guesstimating. But I'm, I'm figuring by Wednesday of next week. Somebody might get a fever. Oh, shit. Yeah, he might get a fever. And if you put him on a plane, he might puke. I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed. Uh, not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses. So if you haven't figured it out, man, my name's Fred. And I am the class clown, bro. I've been the class clown. I've always been the class clown. I can make you laugh. And some of my shit might make you cry. But uh, never wonder why. I got a plan, baby. I got a plan. And I've seen myself up there, bro. And I think you can do it too. But uh, what I wanted to share with you today is a special little joke. But before we get that started, let me listen to the president one more time. I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed. Uh, not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, man. So, this is being my second joke I'll share with you guys. <clears throat> it wasn't that long ago. Uh, there was a big fire that went through the valley here. And a uh, uh, lot of the tribes along the route uh, were burnt out, man. I mean, we had, there wasn't a fire department, basically. And uh, what there was, uh, couldn't fight 50 homes. And this fire took out a lot. But the casinos were there, and we had hotel rooms. And we put up a lot of tribal members, especially at the casino I worked at. And uh, they was very grateful uh, to have such a wealthy tribe uh, funding uh, the homeless. So the president came down. This is when Schwarzenegger was uh, um, the governor of California. And uh, so uh, they came to the, to the reservation over here and, and they spoke in the conference center. There was a big motorcade came through, bro, and the president came through. And... Uh, Obama was, you know, saying, you know, things are going to be fine. We, you have casinos and the money to take care of yourself. And, and he basically been sitting back watching. But uh, believe me, if we needed a fucking loan, he would have been there. If we needed some guns, oh, he would have been there. But anyway, uh, it was that day he gave a speech and, uh, there was a smart ass in there. <laughs> and uh, I uh, had this little plaque made up for the president because I was surprised he was even going to be around. I was thrilled. And uh, so I made this little pres uh, plaque and it said, Walking Eagle. And it had a picture of an eagle kind of walking. <laughs> so... He was up there and he said, yeah, this and that and blah, blah, blah. And we appreciate everything you've done. And we're going to skedaddle. And this is great. You guys can handle it on your own. <laughs> so I said, hey, Mr. President, 
Uh, I got a plaque for you. We're, we're Indians, and we wanted to give you your Indian name. And he called me up, man. I walk up there. I was wearing a suit and a tie, you know. I was a pit boss at the casino. And it was, man, the camera started going. And uh, I presented him with uh, his Indian name, Walking Eagle. And uh, the motorcade took off, and everybody split, and it was like, you know, everything pretty good, you know, Secret Service, you know how they like, uh, Miss President, we gotta go, it's long haired, long haired dude over here, we gotta go, anyway, he takes off, later a reporter comes to me and says, hey, Fred, Mr. Grace, um, is there any significance to the name you gave the President? And I said, why, sure, there is. And he goes, well, do you mind telling me? And I said, well, we call Obama Walking Eagle because he's so full of shit, bro. He can't fly. <laughs> I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed. Uh, not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses. Uh, I wanted to touch on one thing after that hilarious sense of humor I got. Um, the Sandy Hook thing. It's never been in the news because the billionaires are controlling the news, and we all know that. But what the real deal is, is everybody in that whole city got their house paid for, and they're living fine. And uh, if you go over there and nose around it's not won't be good for you so don't go there <laughs> but it has been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that that whole thing uh was basically a false flag uh actors were involved uh this whole ebola scenario looks like the exact same thing and it wouldn't uh be beyond the government uh 10 years ago to implement a date in the future, like today, where the country would be put under a stress test. However, these guys like to take it all the way. So let's let this scenario play out. We'll see if our president becomes a victim or if he's quarantined, chipped, and vaccinated. I think Obama should volunteer himself to be the first chipped, you know, if the president isn't chipped, bro, why, why would I be chipped? We need to locate him. So he's got to have a chip. So let's let the people see it. And then the rest of uh, the governors and senators can go next. And then the people can follow after. You see what I'm saying? Lead. Don't just order, because I'm not part of your empire, bro. I'm Native American, bro. I'm self-sufficient. I don't need the government all in my face about every little thing, bro. I just like to live, you know. Just so the people have a sense of... Uh, this is good. Uh, I shook hands with, hugged, and kissed. Uh... Not the doctors, but a couple of the nurses uh, at Emory. Oh, yeah, and right, like, the president's luck can't get any worse. Uh, he just went out to dinner and his credit card didn't work. What the f Man, bro, sit down, pay your freaking bills, Okay. Stop worrying about every freaking buddy else for a second. Tell him to get the fuck away and roll you up a fucking fat doobie. Okay?